on the ones with Storm Tracker 13's Abby Acone. Good morning. Get ready for daytime temperatures in the 70s and 80s. This oh does not feel like the end of March, beginning of April. And typically, we're ranging in the 50s and the 60s in spots, so way above the norm. Now, before we get to those temperatures, I do want to talk about the right here and now. This is a view from our Manitou Springs, Manitou Avenue, Neighborhood Weather Network camera. And man, Don's early light is still just showing off. It's looking good here. Temperatures 43 degrees and winds under 10 miles an hour. As for your day planner, we'll start to increase clouds this afternoon. And those temperatures, again, cresting into the 70s and in the 80s will be just shy of breaking previous records that were set in 2012 in Colorado Springs and in the 40s for Pueblo. Morning temperatures in both areas, lower to mid 50s, tracking the upper 60s, lower 70s by noon, and again, mid 70s, low 80s by 3 p.m. Current temperatures in the 30s and 40s, so light jacket all you need this morning, skip the gloves, the earmuffs, that kind of thing, but also grab the sunglasses as you head out the door, too. Wind speeds, it's a bit blustery, Trinidad as well as La Junta. Elsewhere, though, under 10 miles an hour. These wind speeds could be up to 15 miles an hour with uh, some surprise gusts in there. We really love those, don't we? Now, today, fire danger elevated just a bit, but tomorrow, that's when we're going to add in um, more of that danger. Risk will be involved there for sure because wind speeds will be even breezier. Right now, live HD Doppler radar is calm, quiet. Mother Nature, I think, is reserving her energy for Thursday and Friday with our next incoming storm. Skycast will show we're pretty crystal clear this morning, but this afternoon, adding in the chance for some of those showers in the mountain locations. Can't rule out some thunderstorms, tis the season. Again, just recapping it for you, clear and dry as we kickstart the day, adding in more clouds this afternoon. Fire weather watches go into effect tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening. I-25, San Luis Valley, areas in the eastern plains because of some gusty conditions and low humidity. Highs, oh man, going to be warm, especially for the eastern plains with the lower 80s in action. Finally, that seven-day forecast shows a rain and snow mix Thursday and Friday with temperatures dropping by about 20 to 30 degrees and temperatures rebounding a bit for Easter weekend. And hey, Sunday isn't looking too bad at all. Easter egg hunting planners. Temperatures reaching 66 degrees. Colorado Springs, 71 Sunday in Pueblo. Lower 80s the next few days in Pueblo before we drop by about 30 degrees by Friday. In Canyon City, 80 today, 78 tomorrow. Chance for those showers Thursday and Friday. It's a bit too early to tell just how slushy some areas could be, but one thing's for sure, visibility will be lowered and there will be wet roads at times. We'll track it closely. In Teller County, 64 today, 62 tomorrow, and then clearing Saturday through Monday. April coming in like a lamb. Like a lamb. Why we'll not? take it. Indeed. Thanks, Abby. Yep. Now we're going to check back in with Paul Richards at Care